The roots of Clan Sanderlands can be traced back to the lands of Sanderlands in Clydesdale, Scotland. It is believed that the family originally hailed from Northumberland, with their arrival in Scotland thought to have occurred during the reign of King Malcolm III. The name Sanderlands is deeply intertwined with the history of the Scottish Lowlands. One of the earliest notable members of Clan Sanderlands was Sir James de Sanderlands, who played a prominent role in the wars against the English. For his valour and service to the Scottish Crown, he received a royal charter from King David II. Sir James married Eleanor Douglas, the only daughter of Sir Archibald Douglas, who was also the Regent of Scotland at the time. Eleanor was the widow of Alexander Bruce, Earl of Carrick. A significant turning point in Clan Sanderland's history was the acquisition of the lands of Corva in Lothian. These lands were bestowed upon Sir James de Sanderland's by his brother-in-law, Lord Douglas, cementing the family's status and influence in the region. The Sanderland's family's unwavering loyalty to James II of Scotland put them in direct opposition to their Douglas relatives. Tragically, this loyalty resulted in the assassination of John Sanderlands and his uncle, James, at the hands of Patrick Thornton, acting on behalf of the Douglas faction. One of the most remarkable episodes in Clan Sanderlands history was the conversion of Sir James Sanderlands of Calder. A close friend of the Protestant reformer John Knox, Sir James also served as the preceptor of the Knights of St. John, an influential religious and military order. In 1560, as Scotland declared the abolition of all papal jurisdiction, Sir James found himself at a crossroads. He underwent a genuine personal conversion to the new faith, which led to his excommunication by Rome and the loss of his position within the order. Facing a dilemma regarding the future of hundreds of tenants and dependents of the order, Sir James Sanderlands took legal steps to protect their livelihoods. He resigned all the Order's lands to the Crown, receiving them back in his own name, effectively safeguarding them from piecemeal confiscation. The Sanderlands family continued to play pivotal roles in Scottish history through the generations. They supported Charles I but advised against the ill-fated plan known as the Engagement. Later members served in various capacities, including in the army and in politics.